Welcome to Southington High School. This is hopefully where you will be next year or the years after that. We have our main entrance and this is our um, main area, our office. We have our school resource office and that has our school resource officer as long as other um, people that can help. There is the principal's office and secretary room. You can only you only go there if you are in trouble or sometimes if you he needs you. And then this is the attendance office, and that's where you will go if you are late to any uh, if you are late to school. This is our lecture hall. This is 201. This is also where detention is currently being held if you uh, get in trouble. We have bathrooms on either other side, so the guys are on this side, the girls will be on the other, um, every other for all the hallways. Down this hallway is one of our uh, sections that we will have. They uh, include washrooms, bathrooms, and they also have classrooms, so be careful when you're trying to find your classes. This is one of our two gymnasiums at Southington High School. Each gymnasium has a middle section and each um, has basketball hoops and courts. That's where you can go if you have any classes there. This is one of the two um, main staircases to get down to the locker rooms or up the locker rooms depending on where you are. And that's where you'll go if you have gym. This is your ninth grade academy, and here it has all your, uh, your assistant principal, your counselors, and any people that you need to talk to. Continuing this way down this hall, we have multiple other facilities that you can go to if you need it. There's an elevator right here, and this elevator is to be used if you have any medical conditions or you need it medical reasons. At this time, it's not open to everybody, only the people that really do need it. We have our second staircase that leads to the uh, boys' locker room, and this one also goes down there and up there, depending on where you're going. And then you have 280. That's your math lab, and that's where you can go if you need math help. This is your second section to the gym. This is where you can also enter from, depending on which side you have classes on. And now on to our next section at Southington High School. We have a building called AgSci. This uh, is a science building and our next tour guide will show you along the way. This is your next tour guide. Her name is Maddie and she will be taking you. All right, so my name is Maddie and if you follow me, I'll take you to the Ag building. So this is the front lobby. Um, if you go that way, that's upstairs. And I'm going to take you this way. This is the hallway to go to the small animal lab and the workshop. This is the boys' bathroom, water fountain, and the girls' bathroom. If you look in here, this is the small animal lab. We have bunnies, guinea pigs, birds, and um, we usually groom dogs in there too, so it's fun. This is Ms. Stanovich's room. If you look in here, this is the aqua lab with all different types of fish. Mr. O'Keefe's room. And in here, this is the workshop with tractors and everything. This is just another entrance to the workshop with all tractors and stuff. In here, this is the large animal lab. We have our horses and goats and cows in there, so that's fun. This is one entrance to the upstairs. This is Mr. Bostrom's room. This 
is where you take anatomy. That is just the same room, it's a big room. Also the same room. This is Miss Wilcox's room. This is the elevator. Do you ever need access to it? A nice balcony. And then the last room, this is Mr. McLaughlin's room. And then downstairs. This is the green room. And then also outside, we have outside pins where horses could roam around and um, have their playtime. And yeah. So if you go right up those stairs, you'll get the first floor tour by Jameson. Welcome back. Welcome back. I will now be showing you the rest of the hallway and onto the rest of the bottom floor. Each hallway is color coordinated, so you have orange, blue, green, depending on where you're going, so that may help you find your way easier. This is the math department. This is where you will go for most of your math classes, depending on your age and grade. This is the school resource office. This is where you'll go for grades 10, 11, and 12. This is also called guidance. They changed it to school resource office for any, any other things that you need. This is also right next to it, and this is the nurse's office, which is where you'll go if you have any issues. This is the athletic wing. This is where you will see all of your trophies and all of your issues, as well as your assistant principal's office. This is your uh, outdoor area. This is where you can see all of our fields and our facilities that you can use. These are mostly used for sports and clubs if you be, uh, choose to be in them. This is onto our main calf. Uh, this is where you'll eat lunch for t grades 10, 11, and 12, although ninth grade is in there. These are one of our two stores. It's called the Corner Cafe. You can go in here and buy stuff as well as having some clubs or classes in here. And here is the DECA store. This is another thing from our school, as it has many uh, Blue Knights apparel and Southington apparel. This is your elevator. This is one of the other areas where if you get injured, you may use. It's only for medical use at this point in time. This is the locker room. This is downstairs is the guys, upstairs is the girls. That's where you will go to change. These are all gender bathrooms that are new to selling to high school, but they are, everybody can use them. And then these are the gym. This is the gym. That's the end of this section for me. Your next tour guide will be Emily. So now we're moving on to the music rooms. This is the music theory room. You can also learn how to play guitar in there. This is one of our teachers for the music department's offices. And um, this way, the chorus room and the band room. Now we're at our chorus room. And if we keep going this way, we're gonna get to the other doorway that leads to the band room. That's the way to the backstage for the auditorium.
now we're going towards the auditorium. This is our auditorium. We have a lot of new things in here this year. The curtains are new, the lighting's new. The speakers are also new, all the sound systems have been redone. Um, but this is our auditorium. Now we will be going to the art wing. This is our art wing. There's a lot of different classes that you can take in here. There's a lot of art displayed for everybody to see when you walk down here. Um, but basically, this is all the art classes that you would be taking. There's more art displayed out here. Now we're going up to the library. This is one of the ways you can get up to the library. And here's the library. Now we're exiting the library and moving on to the upstairs section of the video. We have English rooms on this side and we have science rooms on this side. Now we're moving down a side hallway where we have one of our rooms. This is our lecture, uh, one of the lecture halls. I think this is one of our lecture halls. Now we're moving down the hallway. Like the other side, we have English rooms on this side, we have science rooms on this side. Now we're moving into the freshman wing of the upstairs. Usually the freshman wings are blue. We have our language lab right here. <laughs> Now we're moving into the part of the school where we have our language rooms. We have French, we have Italian, we have Mandarin, we also have Spanish. And now we're moving on to the language rooms. This entire hallway is basically just different language rooms. We have French, Italian, Mandarin, and Spanish. Now we have a whole bunch of science classes. Some of our science classes are down hallways like this. So again, this is English classes on this side, more science classes on this side of the hallway. Now we're going down into the basement to your first tour guide that you had, Jameson. And here you go. Welcome back. Now we'll, we will be going downstairs to our tech labs and our freshman calf. This is our freshman calf. This is where you will go if you have lunch and we have a, an assortment of uh, meals and lunches for you. Now continuing downstairs, this, are, this is where most of our tech classes are, as well as some health classes, depending on what class and what age you are, also what grade you're in. 
Downstairs, we have our 102, that's our woodworking shop, and that's one of our many tech classes that we have down here, as more of the other ones are on the other side. But down here, this is one of our health classes down here. There's two classes, one here and one on the other side. These are two of our main uh, health classes for the older grades, grades 11, grade 12. This is one of our classes where you can go to AV Systems Technology or a bunch of other ones, although most of these classes you will have to be in grades 10, 11, and 12 to take, and it's most likely you're not going to take them freshman year. This is one of our computer departments. This is where you can do coding, or any other assortment of things that we have there. This is a continuation of that room. This is the health, another health room for freshmen. And then this is another classroom for computers. We have our tech wing. This is one of our many shops and that is our metal shop. This is a continuation of our metal shop. And then this is our uh, auto shop. That's where you will go if you want want to make auto repairs or any of those other um, tech areas. And finally, this is our 123, our construction shop. This will be the last area that you will see as of this tour. Um, that is the entire school. We hope you did enjoy, and we hope to see you here soon, as well as take your own tours.